Hi there, Elise Dewsbury here with the 76th episode of my series, How to Get No Feedback from Elise. Now I was looking uh, back at past episodes that I'd done, past topics that I treated, and way back in my second year of doing this, I put out a, an episode about three songs that Elise doesn't particularly like. <laughs> Uh, they were three different kinds of songs, and I had my reasons for why I tend not to like that kind of song. So what I want to do is revisit in the next three episodes, I want to revisit um, those three kinds of songs and talk about why it is I don't like them, or at least why I don't like them when they are approached in a certain way and why I think it's worth your while to approach them in a slightly different way if you're aiming for that kind of a song. So today I'm going to talk about the I Am song, which is a very popular song that a lot of writers will do where a character comes out on stage and basically tells us who they are. Um, if it's, it's often the villain of the piece because, you know, it, it's sort of standard that the, that the um, lead character gets what's usually called the I want song. Uh, so that's a little bit different. But often, for instance, the villain will come out and say, you know, I'm a villain, I'm terrible, I'm mean, I love being mean to people. And um, I'm mean, I'm mean, I'm mean. And that's what I mean by an I am song when a character just simply comes out and more or less addresses the audience and states, here's who I am. Now, those songs can be a lot of fun. They can be very funny. They can be enjoyable. They can be show stoppers that, you know, that performers can enjoy and audiences enjoy. But I think you can have all of that and get a lot more accomplished in your show at the same time. If you approach them, rather than having a character come out and say who they are, have them come out and talk about what they're going to do and let me figure out as an audience member that therefore they are what they are. So that's sticking with the idea of the villain. If a villain comes out and tells me what his plot is, what his scheme is, what he's going to do, and what he's doing is villainous, then I'm going to walk away from that going, oh, this guy's a villain. And so I get the same information. And I think the song could be just as much fun and just as enjoyable for both the singer and the audience. But uh, but there's so much more to it. It, it. it moves the plot forward. So that's that's sort of a theme that I'm working with in these uh, in uh, in these the vlogs that I'm doing over these few months are about how do you accomplish more than just putting one thing out there. So for to just come out and say, I am a villain and then list the different ways that I'm a villain doesn't accomplish as much as if the villain comes out and tells us their plan, well, you know, in, so that you're also progressing the plot but letting us know that the person is a villain and still possibly having a lot of fun. So I would I would really encourage you, again, if you find yourself writing, having a character come out on stage and basically what they're saying is, this is who I am, I am this kind of a person. See if you can reapproach that and, and, and redo those lyrics so that they're more about, here's what I'm going to do, here's an idea I have, here's, what, here's what's going to happen next, here's my plot, here's my plan, here's, so that uh, you're accomplishing more than simply that statement that they are a villain. Uh, so I, I would encourage you all to move away from the I am song and head for the much more active I do song. Uh, so hopefully uh, that will, um, I hope that's useful to you and that's it for today. So toodaloo.